Today's story is about the case of a woman found without her head and arms in the mountains of northern Kyoto, Japan. She was a housewife, but after meeting a man with whom she had an affair, she mysteriously disappeared. Her lover was the prime suspect, but he was never indicted by the prosecution and was set free. On April 29, 1995, a man living in Kyoto, Japan, left his house to chop firewood in the mountains. After driving for about an hour and venturing into the woods, he stumbled upon a strange object near a stream where he used to gather wild vegetables. He initially thought it was a mannequin but was shocked when he approached it. It wasn't a mannequin, it was a corpse without a head and arms. Shocked, he immediately reported to the police, and soon after, the police arrived at the scene. The woman's body was relatively intact, and there were no traces of blood at the scene. Police suspected that the body had been tampered with elsewhere and then dumped at the scene. Through police investigation, the victim was identified as 44-year-old Tanaka Kumiko, a regular housewife who had been working part-time at a hospital before the incident. Considering the state of the body, the police suspected homicide and began investigating the case as a murder. First, the police searched the area around the scene and started collecting statements from people involved. During this process, secrets about the victim that had been kept hidden were revealed. Kumiko, the victim in this case, obtained a nursing qualification from a high school in Tottori Prefecture, Japan, and started working at a hospital in the city after graduation. She met her husband at an adult ceremony, where he was working at a driving school at the time. They got married and lived in Hyogo Prefecture. Before the incident, Kumiko lived with her husband, two college-aged sons, a high school daughter, her in-laws, and her grandmother, totaling eight people. There was another close-knit family that Kumiko's family was close to, and a member of that family was the suspect in this case, 45-year-old Azumiya Hiroshi. Hiroshi worked as a truck driver and lived with his wife and three daughters. Kumiko's family and Hiroshi's family had been on good terms for a long time. However, this good relationship turned into an affair due to the misjudgment of both parties. They started having an affair behind their family's backs, which lasted for over 10 years until Kumiko's death. When the case was uncovered, the investigation headquarters considered the possibility that Kumiko left home due to an extramarital affair, and proceeded with the investigation. According to the investigation, on the morning of April 26, at 9 o'clock, Kumiko met Hiroshi and they drove together to a love hotel. Unfortunately, this check-in at the hotel became her last known whereabouts. The estimated time of death, as determined by the police through an autopsy, was between midnight on April 26 and the 27th. This coincided with the time frame when both individuals were at the hotel, raising suspicion. The police arrested Hiroshi on suspicion of murdering Kumiko at the hotel, mutilating her body, and abandoning it. He initially confessed to the crime right after the arrest but later denied all charges after consulting with his lawyer. He admitted to being with Kumiko on the 26th but changed his story, claiming they parted ways shortly after. To gather more evidence, the police searched Hiroshi's car, where they found blood matching Kumiko's blood type, AB. Although they couldn't conduct DNA analysis due to the blood being too old, matching Kumiko's blood type wasn't enough to prove guilt. However, it kept Hiroshi as a prime suspect. Another piece of evidence emerged when the police discovered Hiroshi had no alibi for the day of the incident. From the day Kumiko went missing on April 26 until her body was found on April 28, he didn't show up for work. These circumstances raised suspicion. With a growing conviction of his guilt, the police visited Hiroshi's house with his wife's consent and found burnt keychains and melted sunglasses near the house. Showing these items to Kumiko's mother, she confirmed they belonged to her daughter. However, the murder weapon, the most crucial evidence, was still missing, prompting further investigation. Even Kumiko's body was found decapitated and without arms, the police were convinced a weapon used in the crime must exist. They speculated that the dismemberment aimed to remove blood and hinder determining the time of death. The location where the body was found, near a stream in the mountains, supported this theory. Hunters often let animal blood flow into streams to prevent rapid decomposition, making it challenging to estimate time of death, which is a critical tactic to obstruct investigations. Additionally, 
reducing the body's weight could facilitate transportation into the mountains. Taking into consideration the overall case, the police couldn't consider anyone other than Hiroshi as the perpetrator. However, without decisive evidence, they couldn't prosecute him. Hiroshi's lawyer consistently argued that he was wrongly accused. The period during which a suspect can be detained before a decision on prosecution is up to 23 days. If the police fail to find decisive evidence or obtain a confession within this period, they must release the suspect. After 23 days without substantial evidence or a confession, the police had to release Hiroshi. Despite continued investigation with hope, there was no progress. The Kyoto housewife dismemberment case, where Kumiko's head and arms were never found, remained unsolved. As the case faded from public memory, Hiroshi gained attention again due to another incident, the murder of his company's president. Eleven years after Kumiko's case, on March 17, 2006, the president of a concrete company in Hyogo Prefecture was found dead in a bamboo grove. The next day, March 18, Hiroshi, an executive at the company, was arrested on suspicion of murder. At the time of arrest, he was 55 years old. He staged the murder as a suicide after killing the company's president. A co-worker who first discovered the scene sensed something amiss and talked to Hiroshi nearby, where he confessed to the murder, leading to his arrest. He murdered the president to take over the company, planning to force the president to step down and take his place. Additionally, there were unclear funds in the company, and Hiroshi planned to take control of those funds. After his arrest, Hiroshi remained silent about the reasons for killing the president and started giving false statements. In March 2007, a local court in Kobe sentenced Hiroshi to 15 years in prison. Hiroshi did not receive any punishment for the Kumiko case and was only charged with the murder of the company president.